I tell you what, for all my sneakerheads and all my folks in Cali, you're going to dig this new animated series. You really, really will. Let's jump into my review, folks, of the new animated series, Fairfax. what's going on everybody welcome back to the channel today for another review and today we're going to be reviewing the new amazon prime series fairfax which is going to be premiering october 29th now it's eight episodes to so about 30 minutes each probably even less to be honest i mean it's a new animated series so uh with it being animated there's a ton of voice actors involved with this a lot of notable uh, voices uh your mains are like kiersey clemens peter kim jabuki young white um you have some special appearances by like jb smooth uh zoe deutsch billy porter and so on so um and for folks who like bojack horseman you'll love this that's that's for sure but then again a little bit more de in depth into what the culture is here for anybody who is a sneakerhead for anybody who is from cali uh, for anybody who's just really immersed into like pop culture, um, for folks who uh, who, who who may be smokers, uh, this is a show for you. Really, really is because you got these uh, four teenage kids. They're about 13 year old, and all they're trying to do is, is chase the latest drop, uh, the latest new shoes, the trend, whatever it may be. At the same time, too, trying to update stock and their popularity. Um, trying to make sure they're in the know about everything that's happening. Um, you know, the hype beast culture. You know, whatever the newest thing is, they need it. And this is a it's a true thing. It's still happening right now. So, like, either one, you're retired like myself, or you're still fully immersed into it. Like, you have that appreciation to it. Also, that probably that gripe and that bit of trauma from it as well, too. When you couldn't get that one shoe that you were looking for or that that, that latest uh, clothing line special drop that they had like it, it, it tackles all of that but it's very it, it, it's a like beyond means it's almost like a mockery of it as well too so it's very fun i mean like if you were a supreme you probably ain't gonna want to even want to watch this because like <laughs> the way they make fun of supreme to me is so it's so funny like i don't wear supreme but like you'll see like there's a brand in this that's basically supreme and they just make it they, they exploit to you how ridiculous supreme is in their branding and their marketing and all that other sort they go down that road and whatnot um and a bunch of other different things as well too so like it's funny it's amazing voice acting there's so many different jokes but i will say like if you really aren't interested into any of the, the the different parts that you feel like I, I, I'm talking about uh, like either, either being a sneakerhead or, or or not appreciation or appreciation to that Cali lifestyle or a smoker it probably ain't for you because it's very niche like you have got to know what's going on within that culture to really appreciate what this what the uh, series is trying to tell you have to know the lingo because there's no learning curve for it. you either know it or you know it but the one character Dale though. He is that like outsider character that tries to get within the culture, but even still, the way how things progress, it's either like you're not gonna catch these jokes unless you've been down this alley before, unless you know the struggle, the heartburn of not being able to get these certain things or not being cool enough or you know being not in the right trend because the the newest trend is what everybody's wearing. You're still on the old one. Like they go down all of that. Um, but like, yeah, if you're in that LA sneakerhead community, this this is perfect for you. It's very funny. I laughed way more than I thought I was gonna laugh. Um, I I be honest, like I I did not expect for me to like this as much as I did, but I I absolutely did. And it was very easy to get through. Uh, very funny. They already got announced for a season two, which is doubling the amount of episodes. It's gonna have 16 episodes. So hey, there's that. You know, Amazon fully is in invested into this, so there's more coming. Um, and yeah, and it's an it's an adult animated comedy, so be be prepared for a lot of laughs for the adult tone, but also again for all the folks who understands this community and this lifestyle. There's going to be so many different things that you will, um, it, like upon watching it, like you will like it will trigger nostalgia for you in re in regards to like yeah, I remember I was trying to get those and that happened. Or like when you're making connects and somebody tell you to be at a certain place, then they don't come through. And then every, you see everybody else that has it, but you didn't have it. And how does it feel to be 
on the outside of things. So, you know, there's that. But like I said, it's, it's very inclusive to the fashion, the music, the whole pop culture. All of that intertwines together and it, it gives us a very entertaining series. So I like this. I really, really did. And I can see why people wouldn't like it because if you don't understand this, then it's just, hey, you're outside the box. You're not cool enough. Sorry, folks. Um, but yeah, it's, 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 it's something I came up for you all to check out. Let me know in the comments when you do. And as always, stay tuned for more reviews very soon.